this question is not smiling at all it is not smiling seriously but let's solve it together how can we find the value of x to the power of 30 like but it's easy yes so when i looked at this what i saw is how can i factorize this and make it a polynomial all right so the first thing i did is that what do if i want to factorize 30 and 20 they have something in common that i can easily bring out three power of three and power of two from right so i now solved it like this x to the power of 3 times 10, right? Plus x to the power of 2 times 10 is equal to 80. Yes. Now, I want you to note that a to the power of m multiplied by n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Okay? So, that means that I can rewrite this as x to the power of 10 raised to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 10 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 80. Perfect. Are you seeing anything? Now, look at what we have. We have the same thing here and here. Let's call it something, okay? So, we can say let x to the power of 10 be equal to y. Let's call it y. So, if we do that, that means we can just simplify this equation as what? y to the power of 3 plus y squared is equal to 80. Perfect. Now, I would like you to stay to the end and see how we substituted what we got for our x into this equation to get 80. It's amazing, okay? So, our advice is stick to the end so that you enjoy that ride. So, we now have a cubic polynomial. Now, let's write it well. y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 80 is equal to 0. All right, let me bring it down in case if you don't see what I wrote. So y to the power of 3 plus y squared is equal to 80. Now, sorry, minus 80. Let's just bring it this side. Is equal to 80. Now, this is what we have now. So we are going to do try and error to get the first value of y so that we use synthetic division to get our quadratic equation. I'm going to leave an end screen where I explained in details different methods you can use to solve your polynomials okay your cubic polynomials in particular so i would like you to watch to the end so that you can click on the end screen and watch that video so like i said we are now going to use um try and error to solve this first now if we say let y be equal to one if we say one to the power of three plus one squared minus 80 is equal to zero obviously one plus one will give us two and two minus 80 is not equal to zero so what do we do we keep substituting and keep trying okay so if we try two we're not going to get it if we try three it's not going to give us zero but if you try four it will okay so let's see four to the power of three plus four squared minus 80 is equal to zero four to the power of three is 64 plus four squared is 16 minus 80 is equal to zero. So 16 plus four, 64 plus 16 is 80 minus 80 is equal to zero. And this is true. That means we can say let our y be equal to four. So that means the first truth is what? Y equal to four. Y is equal to four. Now, like I said, we are going to use synthetic division to do what? To get the quadratic equation. So since y is equal to 4, let's write out the coefficients of our polynomial. So y cubed has 1 as its coefficient. y squared has 1 as its coefficient. We're supposed to have y here. Since it's not there, that means the coefficient is 0. And then our constant is minus 18. So we are going to bring this one down. 4 times 1 is 4, we add. So 1 plus 4 will give us 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 0 plus 20 is 20. 4 times 20 is 80. Minus 80 plus 80 is 0. Okay? So that means that we just formed our what? Our quadratic equation. So that means that our quadratic equation is y squared, y squared plus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0. So this simply means that, this simply means that 
this is what we have. If y is equal to 4, that means that y minus 4 is equal to 0, right? So this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. That simply means that y minus 4 multiplied by what? y squared plus 5y plus 20. Both are equal to 0. Okay? All right. So if you multiply this and this, you are going to get this back. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, why haven't you subscribed yet? Okay, please subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you. <laughs> now, we are going to equate the first bracket to be equal to zero and the second bracket to be equal to zero as well. All right, note the value of your y is real okay now let's continue so this simply means that y is equal to 4 this is the first value of y now for this place we are going to use our discriminant to see if you are going to have real roots here okay so to do that discriminant is what b squared minus 4ac now our a is equal to 1 coefficient of y squared our b is equal to 5 and our c is equal to 0, 20. Like I said, our advice and our plead that we watch to the end. So I see how we substituted what we got into the equation to get our 80 back. Okay. Now, so if we should solve this, our a is 1, our b is 5, and our c is 20. So b squared should be 5 squared, which is 25, minus 4ac. That is 4 times 1 times 20 which is 8. Notice that you are going to get a number that is less than 0. That means you are not going to get real root from this place. And that means that this is not going to be used. So we are dropping this. Now we have that y is equal to 4. But recall, recall that we made a statement x to the power of 10 is equal to y. Yes, x to the power of 10 is equal to y. So where we say that y is equal to 4, let's just start from here that y is equal to 4. And we said x to the power of 10 is equal to y, right? So we have that y is equal to 4. But x to the power of 10 is equal to y. That means I can write this as x to the power of 10 is equal to 4, all right? So we are going to raise each of these, um, this thing, each of the terms to to the 1 over 10, okay? Why are we doing that? So that I can get my x. This can cancel this and I'll, wait and I'll get my x. So I'll also re uh, raise this side to the power of 1 over 10. So this is going to cancel this. We have that x is what? 4 to the power of 1 over 10 or 10 truth of what? 4. As easy as that. Now let us substitute this into what? Into our equation. So we have 4 to the power of what? 4 raised to the power of 1 over 10 raised to the power of 30 plus 4 raised to the power of 1 over 10 raised to the power of 20, okay, is equal to 80. Now, know that when you have power, two powers, you can multiply them, right? So we can say 10 we divide this to give us 3 and 10 we divide this to give us 2. So we have 4 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 80. So 4 to the power of 3 is 64 and 4 squared is 16 is equal to what? 80. So 64 plus 16 is 80 is equal to 80.